Hello everyone, my name is Uthrus and welcome back to Kingdom. We are starting over here from the last save because I believe we expanded too quickly based on the hints you all have received and ever so kindly instructed on uh, what to do. So first things first, I'm going to try and get four archers, hopefully two for each side. And that way we can get some gold and after we get our base recruitment up we'll try and see how quickly we can advance and expand our wonderful kingdom here yes horse i know it's okay there we go that, that's three archers right there and you can come over here so we're going to expand a little bit slower than last time. We are going to basically be following your guys' suggestions and things of that nature. Here's the title screen as it completely falls apart. I've seen that before. Chase the deer off, I guess. Do I not have a encampment over here? Yeah, I do. No gold, though, to recruit them. That's okay. Now, the first night, I don't believe anything spawns at us. But even so, I, we don't need walls for it. Because they don't attack, really, the shops in any way. They really just try and kill your king. So as long as they just hover around our archers, I think we'll be pretty safe. Luckily, I'm already kind of pushing three deer over into our territory. Which will be a kind of initial boost to our income, for sure. I just have to try and keep them over in that area. Come on, dear. Get over there. Get shot. There we go. That's three coins. Oh, yeah. Decent amount of early game money here. Which is great. We'll upgrade to one builder. And... I believe the right side is usually the most threatened. So we'll go ahead and set those up pretty much right off of the bat. Let's see if we can't get him back to town in time. All right, back over here. Here we go, two more gold for our fourth archer. So now we all need five because we're going to have one in a tower going forward. So the key is to not expand, I believe, to the point that you get rid of your encampments on both sides because you need those to recruit. And the farther you expand, those actually end up going away. Let's go ahead and upgrade this wall as well. Alright, let's see. Okay. Buy another bow. Okay, so we do get attacked just a little bit, but we were able to manage on this night. No major threats, so we'll just head on out. Try and see if we can't recruit anyone on this side yet. Let's go out to the farthest one. There we go. Get him real quick. See if we can't... Oh, can't push that deer. It looks like it wants to be a pain. We want to get that right farm built. That's... That's... That's what you need to do. For sure. Get our daily income. Uh, and then head to, uh, I guess, the right again. Because these things do, re the recruits kind of respawn every morning. So we can actually go back here and recruit all four again, I believe. Get him. Our horse is tired, so we're going to have to be walking a little bit. Now... I'm just gonna do a little bit of a playthrough here in the beginning, just to uh, get my bearings. 
and then we're gonna be skipping around to more interesting parts, upgrades, things of that nature. Oh. Gotta try and collect your taxes as much as possible. Really, one builder is fine for now. Get this wall up. Wow, he had a lot of money on him. Get that tower up. You? And an okay amount. Alright, let's go over here, see if we can't recruit anyone. I do like the fact that when you get into the denser parts of the forest, it becomes dark. Your character has to use a torch. Things like that. Oh, give me your coin back. There you go. Be gone. Go about your business, guy. So, there is an item that I'm looking for. In fact, I just found it. It's this shrine. This shrine is apparently very important. Um, that's like your tech tree shrine. And... <laughs> I didn't know that. I upgraded it last game without knowing what it did. And then I went through and played again. And I was stuck in the wooden tech tier forever. I got to like day 20 before I even upgraded that and started getting stone. Which is a major mistake. So don't, you know, wait too long to explore and locate that thing. It's very important. Alright. Got that now, and we can upgrade this wall to tier two. And the question is, yeah, we should upgrade to a little camp. You got any gold? Yeah, you do. Give me that, please. How about you? No. Can you make it back to base in time? I don't know. But you're only one coin. I'll get you over in this direction at least. Alright, and let's get builder number two. It looks like we are the purple and red owls. That is our banner. I think we can spend three coins and change it. But I'm fine with being the purple and red owl. It's a mighty noble banner. Okay, come on. Get, get up. There you go. You got those kills rather nice. Now this side should be clear and I can actually scout. See if there's any more recruits early on. Which is a bonus. There is. And I can just go ahead and tell him as soon as possible to head back. And at this point... I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'll see you guys probably the first blood moon and we'll see how we do. Alright guys, it's our first blood moon. I may or may not have gotten this guy killed out here, but that's okay. Um, I told him to chop a tree at a very poor time. Let's recruit another bowman just in case. So, he, yep, he got swarmed. He got swarmed real hard. Poor guy. So the right flank, of course, is always kind of the first- Oh my goodness! It's always the first one to kind of get assaulted like this. Let's see if our archers can just hold the line here. I don't know how the right flank's gonna handle it either. Come on, shoot him. There we go. Reassemble the team. Anyone all the way out here? No? Okay. So we're on day six! We survived the first kind of boss wave. Good on us. Good on us. I need to get our second builder again. Let's check on the right flank. Right flank looks like it managed just fine. Which is a good thing to know. Now we can couple of our archers back. Today is just an upkeep day. Days after the blood moon are very uh, passive, which is good. Hopefully we can get some money going. I do need a farm pretty much ASAP because that is 
that is how you get your money. If you don't have any farms, you're you're really losing a whole lot of money. So we'll be back here, um, I'm sure, in a little bit. This is the first farm location, and I will be planting that as soon as we have enough money. Okay, it is a passive night, I believe, so I feel kind of comfortable. Uh, maybe I shouldn't risk it. I was going to just go ahead and lay down the plans for the farm. Uh, we'll get three more archers, and I think one more farmer, and then we can lay down the plans for the farm still, which is great. We'll make it through this kind of slow night. Rather uneventful. We can kind of scout a little bit. Doesn't look like anything spawning, so I'll go ahead and spend the coin. Oh, someone running around out here. Hurt them. Oh, two more. Wonderful. So we'll have our farm soon. And hopefully we'll get some money. You don't want to get the tier 2 farm too early because it acts as housing for your farmers and you don't want them to be housed outside the walls. Uh, they'll just die. So, don't do that. That's my only advice. At this point, we're quite capable to upgrade our base again. And we are at the Viking stage, which is great. That means uh, we can start building catapults, I believe. If it's over here, it is. Catapults are a very important structure. I'm going to build the one on the right side first. Even though I'm probably going to end up building them both. Why not, really? Gives our builders kind of something to constantly work on. And do we have any spare citizens? We have two. So I'm going to get another builder. I'm going to eventually have four builders. Two for each side, hopefully, as long as their AI permits that kind of use. We'll get another archer, I think. And then once we have our catapults, we can worry about fencing in that right farm and expanding in that general direction for a little bit. What are you guys killing out here? How dare you? What the heck? Why are my farmers still out here? Oh well, whatever. I guess they were just slow to react. No, they're still inside. What was out there? Archers? Builders? Just recruits I was looking for? I don't know. All right, guys, so our farmland, I went ahead and we are in the process of expanding out in this direction, which is good. Um, we can't expand too far because I kind of don't want to get rid of that camp right there because it's kind of a really close recruitment area. So, um, we're going to start expanding to the left um, more so than the right at this point. The right, we're just going to fully upgrade, kind of hold the line, and manage defending this point here to protect our tier 2 farm once we upgrade it. So I need to get this wall built. I'm going to upgrade it to tier 1 stone pretty much right now. And that's going to allow me to invest all this little bit of money that we have straight into our tier two farm. Uh, do I have enough on me? Yes. Which is great. That'll increase the farmer's efficiency. They want to walk far away at night. They can just basically sleep and live here in this area. I don't know why my, all my archers are leaving this area. That's a little silly. But that's okay. Totally normal and okay. We're getting the builders to push the catapult out towards the right as well. Let's go ahead and keep an eye on this. Now this wall is pretty sturdy. Something got killed out there. I don't know what it was. We'll see how well our single archer can just hold the line with this one stone wall. Back. Oh, looks like he's doing just fine. 
His accuracy is not the best. Accuracy is not the best, but uh oh, nickname. Good. Very great. I can recruit you. And then I can actually use the rest of the night to go out to the far encampment and recruit two more, I believe. It's all about kind of mass recruitment. Uh, we ran into a merchant. That's fine, too. For you. And, uh... Today is going to be a blood moon. So we'll see how all this goes. And I have just made a terrible, terrible mistake. It's blood moon night. You know, it's day 10. And the mistake that I just did was I wanted this wall to be tier three, right? To protect everything really well for this uh, blood red knight. But I upgraded it way too late. These guys are going to die right here, unless I'm able to stall. And to stall, I basically had to forfeit a whole bunch of gold to do this. And so as soon as I see these guys come into view, I'm just gonna start laying down a trail of gold. And what's going to happen is they're going to spend a lot of time picking that up and hopefully leaving the area and doing so. It's basically bribing the creeps to go away. Or, they don't attack this side at all, and they're on the left side killing everyone right now. I don't know which. It seems safe over here. Which has me worried. I'm gonna upgrade this tower here. And now we go see what the damage was. Because it was Blood Moon Night. I'm I'm really worried. And anything over here? Besides getting a decent amount of gold. Any troubles? We lost a wall. Okay. We can rebuild that. Uh, let's see if anyone's trying to leave the town. That might have died. It might have destroyed the wall right as the last person hit it. So we might have lucked out right there. But I can tell you, this is the farm that we're looking for right now. So I can actually get this. And get this tower too. This I can leave empty because uh, if they get past the outermost shell there, upgrading these I think, in my opinion, would be a waste of money. Uh, the best thing to do is enclose your farms so your farms are very safe. Maybe a tower there. Just in case they get past it. I don't think they will. But we'll have a nice stone wall at this location. Let's go ahead and see if we can't recruit. For day 11, it's kind of a free day again, which is great. Give me your taxes. Nope. Oh. Or taxes. I like you. You probably chopped down a tree or something. So let's get two more bowmen. You know, more archers the better. I'll go ahead and get two more scythes for when we have more farmers. In which case, they will actually give me a whole bunch of money right now. See, this is this is why you need your farms. You need to set this up fairly early. You need to get them protected. They get you. A lot of money. I mean, just look at that. That's a little nuts. Keeping this camp around for recruits. Let's go ahead to the farthest one. Now, if you have excess money, you can spend it on that shrine. I don't know what it does, but it's what I do. I'm pretty sure it just buffs your archers. Don't quote me on that, because I haven't looked it up. Day 12, I'm feeling rather confident on the growth and the prosperity of things, so I'm just going to go ahead and upgrade from the Viking Town Hall to Viking Town Hall with stone walls. Major change, I know, but it's progress, and progress is what we're aiming for. Okay, here we are, day 18, or night 18, you can say. 
upgrading the castle once again and we actually have a proper keep which is great because uh, we're gonna need to start getting knights and apparently you can use knights to um, attack a portal so we're gonna be testing that out and we're gonna be attacking the right side as soon as possible I believe or we can try and attack both sides at once, maybe. So we'll just get both both shields for both sides. And we'll see how well this goes. Okay, guys, it's day 15. Blood Moon. We're going to see what happens here. Uh, we're at the right flank right now. And wow, that's a lot of stuff. Kind of wish we had an engineer reloading. He is reloading now. Uh, are they gonna get through the wall? Are they? Oh, there it goes! Catapult for the win! Okay, we have flyers coming down, which uh, are a mob that will pick up your units. Oh, come on, kill them, kill them, kill them! Oh, good catapult. That's good. That's good. Great. Amazing. Keep doing that. Good. They dropped them. Alright, so we survived this blood moon. Now, the thing I want to do with the blood moon is... In theory, because the next day is generally passive. I'm going to try and siege. Because that's something we need to do. We are going to attack a portal today. And see what happens. I haven't successfully done this before. In fact, I, this is the first time me even really having knights. So, I hope you guys enjoy this. I think I have one knight squadron over here. Um, so let's send them out. I don't know what's going to happen. But I'm gonna actually scout ahead. We need to recruit more people, more and more people into the town, more constantly. It's just, uh, it's just a battle. I don't know what's gonna happen. These guys move rather slowly. It's three archers and a knight. I know. In the tips that you guys gave me, make sure I have two knights before I siege, but, uh, I do my own thing. In theory, in my head, it's like, Blood Moon should be safe. And he has some reinforcements on the way, so if they can just stall for a little bit, I think they'll be fine. I, I just throw coins everywhere now, guys. Like, we are just that rich. So let's follow these guys out here. The general following his men into battle. I wish there was a way for me to help. Um, but there's not. So we're stuck. Okay. Rather peaceful out here. Here's the shrine to upgrade. Doesn't look like there's an upgrade beyond stone. And then we are in the dark, darkness of the woods. Hey, another camp. I've never been out this far. There's the portal. There's the beast. And it is actually shut off right now. It's not gonna spawn in. There's two portals here. Okay. If we can get them both down, that would be amazing. Just keep, just keep throwing coins. That's all I'm gonna do. Wow, I didn't know there could be two portals that close together. It's a good thing that we're attacking this side. I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't even know where our knights and them are. They're really slow. Oh, here they are. Here we go. Yeah, they're taking their sweet time. So we're going to engage. And then, um, I don't know how long this takes to destroy your portal. Oh, how I wish I could just build a tower right here. Just constant damage would be nice. It makes quite a terrible noise. Okay, the portal is active. Oh. Okay. Oh, 
How long does this take? I wish the archers would actually stand in one place for a long time, and I love it when they just jump out and instantly die and fly across the screen. It's pretty epic. Okay. The knight pretty much just defends the archers. The archers attack the portals. Ooh. Another nice swing. It is day 17. So it took all day pretty much to get out here to attack this portal. Now it looks like these creeps are trying to push the knight back and uh, hopefully, I think, knock him behind the archers so they can get and kill the archers. I don't know if any boss is supposed to spawn or anything like this. We're just seeing how long this takes. Oh! The knight's down! I didn't think that was possible. Okay. Pick up your bow again. Keep sieging. Fight on. Okay. Oh my goodness. How, how long does this take? Keep firing. Keep firing. Where's our reinforcements? I don't know where they are. I have no idea where they are. They should be out here. That might have been a failed attempt. In which case, we'll just have to regroup, recruit more people, and try again. Maybe once we have two to send at the same time. Obviously, um, the advice for two knights was probably well received. Yeah, here's our reinforcements just chilling out here. Not really doing anything. Thanks, guys! At least you gave me a lot of gold. Alright. Well, I think that's going to be us for this episode. I was expecting to get a lot farther, but it's not as easy as I thought. So, uh, thank you guys so much for watching, as always. If you guys are enjoying the content, feel free to subscribe for my channel for more gaming goodness. Go ahead and hit that like button. Leave a comment on any suggestions on what to do. I have so much money, it's a little ridiculous right now. Um, I'm going to go out here to the shrine, make sure it's fully buffed. Anyways, I'm, if you guys want to see more of Kingdom, go ahead and let me know that as well. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.